I think I'm on the final section of the game now. I think I've got a few more levels left and I cannot for the life of me remember what they are. But uh, I'm surprised. I, it took me, what, three, four videos? Maybe I can redeem myself. I probably won't. I'm trying to remember what's coming up next. I know there's this. I know there's another level similar to heavy machinery i think there's an I, I can't remember i know i have two boss battles coming okay hopefully i don't run out of all of my lives i've misjudged these jumps horribly in the past very glad i didn't this time yeah that's one of those levels where i had to do it without dying and i died so i don't have that path unlocked what i meant to do that i was uh, i was just testing gravity making sure it still worked it does Right, if I can not die on this part again, that would be great. He just slid off. He just... I didn't move him forward. He slid off on his own. And now I'm on 20 lives. I killed Crash. Does that count as animal abuse? I always wondered what comes out of these. Is it steam or is it poisonous gas? I'm almost at the same number of lives I started with. That's embarrassing. It's nice not having to care about how many crates you break. Although I probably could have gotten them all. Oh well. Oh man, I panicked. I really gotta learn not to panic when I'm playing a game. It's just a game, it's not like it can hurt me in real life. I mean, it'll probably hurt my pride, but that's about it. Oh nice, I'm on the second to last boss battle now. If I can remember how to do this. Oh yeah, and this is like a two part one as well, isn't it? He gets all juiced up on steroids at the end of this, so that's the second part. Forget you shouldn't stand still in a boss battle ever. Okay, there's two blobs now. There we go, he's kind of halfway dead. Now he's gonna throw those exploding ones at me. And now there'll be three blobs, I think. Okay, don't get eaten, don't get eaten. Okay, don't get eaten again. Oh, crap, 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 don't panic. All right, he's gonna come towards me. I have to jump on that and do that. He's gonna come at me. I just need to jump on his head again. And one more time. There we go. Wow, I'm I'm impressed at myself. I know this level inside out because I spent so long trying to do the time trials. Okay, no, I, I, I do know it very well. I just mistimed that horribly. Okay, there's a TNT hidden here. Yep. Oh, and I had that stupid do the level without dying challenge and I already failed at that, so. I love that I've done this level so many times that all the little tricks and corners and things are just muscle memory. I jumped over you. I think this is the last level before the boss fight. Oh my god, that was the blob's fault. Sometimes I'm so good at timing and then other times my brain just stops working. I mean, my brain stops working most of the time when I'm not playing Crash Bandicoot, but I'm talking specifically about the game. Oh man, it's like that. Again, why did I run right into his arms? Hopefully I still remember how to beat the main boss because I'm probably going to lose what lives I have left otherwise. Now I just have to not get eaten by the blob. Like that. Yeah, I remember this bit being a pain as well. Oh, nice. Oh god, the stupid jump. I forgot when you jump on a TNT, you get a little jump. Don't screw this up. Now, nice. Okay, now I just have to remember that I'm gonna bounce. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't so hard, was it? And I only missed two boxes. Yep, it's literally just that. It's just a, an alternate, like, cutscene. All right, last boss battle, and this game is complete. Well, not 100% complete, but mostly complete. Screw you. Wait, okay, wait, I forgot what to do. This is a warm up. That one I can hit back. See, they're different colors, but being colorblind, I just have to go off muscle memory. Ah, oh, I missed it. I thought I moved. He's gonna say that every single time. I keep forgetting which ones I need to hit. There we go. Now that's gonna go there. That's gonna go there and I jump over it. And then his gun messes up. And now I need to hit another one. I jumped. I have eight lives. You'd think it'd be easy with him having five lives, but it's not. I jumped over you. You can't see me angrily pointing to my TV, but I am. That was my fault. I am so bad at this. Why am I so bad at this? It's going to take me like 50 attempts just to memorize what he does. Oh God, editing this is not going to be fun. <laughs> I have one life left. All right, now I just have to remember that it takes two of those things this time. There we go. We'll have double protection now, but what's the point? Maybe I could do it with zero lives left. Pull off a miracle. I spun too early. I spun too freaking early. Well, at least I can say I didn't reach a game over until the very, very end. Do I? Okay, I still have protection. That's good. All right, I've had some practice off camera. Died a whole bunch of times. And now I feel... 
Doesn't count, I was talking. Now I feel like I know what he's gonna do. I've memorized his movements. Except that time when I was just... I, as soon as I start talking, I can't do it. This is proof that I can't multitask. It's this bit that messes me up because those things bounce on the second round. All right, he's going to do that again. Now they're going to bounce. Now he's going to throw that. Okay, yes, I managed to jump over it. Oh, crap, I didn't jump over that. There we go. Now it's going to be ridiculously hard. Yeah, he's going to keep shooting. No, God, I, if I had protection then. That's the furthest I've gotten, though. Okay, if I can not die while talking, that would be great. If I can keep my protection till then as well, that would be fantastic. Do I need two or do I need three? Okay, good, good, good. Now last one. Yes, I did it. I beat this piece of crap boss. Don't ask me how Crash managed to pull that. He did somehow. And then after this game, she's nowhere to be seen. So I guess she dumped him. Poor Crash went through all that and nothing. Actually, I did unlock a bonus level. Should I do it? Yeah, why not? I do have another one to unlock, but I have to do another level before that and I can't be bothered. So this is officially the last level I'm going to do on this game. I'm not going to torture myself with time trials. I am going to take the win and learn how to time platforms. No, I'm just joking. I'll never be able to do that. Oh God, I'm losing brain cells playing this game. It's not my day today. It never is, but today especially. Okay, so even though this isn't the last level in the game, this is officially my last level. And I seem to have lost all of my brain cells. I mean, in my defense, I'm being sent pictures of the most adorable dog. So it's a valid excuse to not be concentrating on this game right now. Oh, crap, again, why did I... I keep forgetting that that other moving platform doesn't come there straight away. It's the dog, I'm telling you. It's the cutest dog and I can't focus on anything else now. Please don't die, Crash. Checkpoint? Why is there no checkpoint? Come on. There's a checkpoint right there as well. I'm dead. I game overed. Maybe I should have quit while I was ahead and not bothered to do this secret level. I mean, it's not a main level, but I thought, nah. I beat the boss. I can do this. And God, was I wrong. Finally, checkpoint. Checkpoint, please. I got murdered by a spider. I can't see anything. I'm at the end. I did it. Oh, thank God. Pulled off a miracle. Did the impossible. Oh, man. And that is the end of that. I managed to finish all of Crash Bandicoot 1 in four videos. I don't know if that's something to be proud of or embarrassed about, but I did it anyway, and I made it here. So if you've been watching, thank you very much. I, I really do appreciate it. I'm hoping to make some Crash Bandicoot 2 videos because that is a very fun game. Way more fun than this one. As always, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.